So if I were to say there was a medium that really was getting shortchanged, it would be tablets right now. And we just did a huge study on the tablet marketplace. We spent 14 months doing qualitative, quantitative, and field trial research, all to find um, the best way to ta advertise on a tablet. And we really proved that tablet advertising works. And we should really do what we can to make those ads interactive and to tabletize the experience, because that's what the consumer wants. They don't want something that says click here. They want to be able to pinch and swipe and take advantage of this great device that is taking off like nothing we've ever seen before. So we think it's really tablet's time. So I think that the thing that's actually getting the least attention that actually deserves way more is connected TVs. So I think by that I mean things like games consoles, um, I think things like the Roku box. The challenge is from a marketer perspective is that the scale really isn't there in a standardized way. So you look at devices like Roku, you look at things like the Xbox, the PlayStation 3, um, ultimately those are still all operating there on their own individual standards and it's very very hard for marketers to buy on a cross-platform basis across all those different devices. So although I think from a consumer standpoint those big screen digital video environments are phenomenal, it's pretty hard to monetize them still. So I think that what we need to see is a, an increase in standardization so those platforms need to adopt Vast and VPaid uh, to be able to be effectively bought in the same way that, that web video is bought. And of course, they also need um, you know, an increase in scale. So I think more consumers are starting to use those devices, but I think it's not quite there yet um, to the point where it can be uh, get the same level of attention as web video. Definitely, I would say mobile. And the reason why I say that is today, it was really interesting. I took the train into the city today. And there was not one newspaper on the train. And everybody was on their mobile. And then, you know, so that's one thing. And then I go home and I watch my children. I watch how they interact. And my daughter, who's 16 years old, watches some TV. But I would say her intensity of her viewership is on her mobile device. So that's where she's more engaged and that's what she's watching. And the TV is really more background. So I think the reality of the situation is mobile that we take with us everywhere and that we live with and is so personally connected to us is actually going to be the most important future screen in the marketplace. And uh, we better get there fast because uh, that's where all the action is going to be. Right now, mobile, defined as smartphones in particular, gets a short shrift. Um, when it comes to the multi-screen marketing process. Uh, I was actually just uh, presenting in one of the sessions and a uh, woman from a major uh, news organization said that in many of the RFPs she's getting from agencies, they're asking for them to um, leave mobile off, meaning we don't want to see a mobile component to your proposal at all. And I think that makes sense if you think about right now, the advertising opportunities on mobile, they're just not that good. There are little ads, you can barely see them, you can very quickly scroll out of the way. Um, there needs to be more engaging, higher impact, more brand oriented formats in mobile for it to ultimately not get the short shrift from the buy side, who right now is frankly not interested, as evidenced by that question.